Hey what's going on guys, I've got some interesting news to talk about today, and that involves how the XP system in Destiny was actually rigged against a player after hitting the soft level cap of 20. Over the last couple of days, there was a growing consensus that in Destiny 2 there was a rigged system in place to encourage players to spend real money on in-game items. As many of you all know, after hitting level 20, your experience points no longer fuel your journey towards leveling up, but instead reward the player with a bright engram upon filling up the level up bar. Bright engrams are the equivalent of Destiny 2's loot boxes, and while they only have cosmetics, they still contain many items that players have to grind for in hopes to improve the look of their guardian. These engrams contain many items, such as emotes, ships, shaders, and exotic ornaments. While you can earn these engrams through regular play, you can also use real money. Now I don't think most people mind having cosmetic based engrams, but what happened here that has angered many fans and players is that it was discovered by a couple fans on reddit that the game's underlining XP system was designed to make it take longer for players to earn these bright engrams. Last week in Destiny 2 debuted a new event called the Clarion Call, which was supposed to give players bonus XP when they were working together with clanmates. What happened is that several players began to notice that the longer they played the same activities, the longer it would take for them to level up. Even though the game would still say they were making 5000 XP, they would instead see the bars filling up less and less each time. Reddit user EnergizerX posted his full breakdown on Reddit of the issue on XP gains. In that post he concluded that the game was telling players one number while they actually earned a much lower number. In response to these findings and accusations starting to gain traction, Bungie posted this on their official blog, where they admitted players were correct. We've seen community discussion around XP gain in Destiny. After reviewing our data, we agree that the system is not performing the way we'd like it to. Today we'd like to describe what's going on under the hood, and talk about what we can expect going forward when it comes to earning XP in Destiny 2. Currently, XP will scale up when playing longer or fixed duration activities like Crucible competitive multiplayer matches and the Leviathan Raid, and XP will scale down when playing activities that can be quickly, repeatedly chained like grinding public events. We are not happy with the results and we've heard the same from the community. Effective immediately, we are deactivating the system. As a result, players will see XP earn rates change for all activities across the board, with all values being displayed consistently in the user interface. Over the course of the next week, we will be watching and reviewing XP game data to ensure that these changes meet our expectations as well as yours. Any additional updates to the system will be communicated to you via our official channel. The issue might not seem to some like it is that big of a deal, but for those players and fans that still play the game regularly and like to collect all the game has to offer in terms of cosmetics, this was a huge slap in the face and the reasoning that many people will declare is the most simple and obvious one. Bungie doesn't want players to earn these engrams too quickly and want to delay how fast players can earn them. I agree that there should be more XP rewarded for other activities in the game, as right now the most effective path to leveling up was to farm heroic strikes. But lying to players with the rig system is only going to anger them and cause tension between them and the developers. Combine this recent news of a rig system alongside the continuously growing complaints many fans have of the game and Bungie's lack of official responses, and it's easy to see why people are furious. Bungie doesn't seem to realize that with zero transparency between fans, lying to the players and ignoring the overall negative response to the Osiris DLC streams is going to push even the most dedicated fans away. I've never personally cared for the Bright Engrams, but I know that is only my viewpoint, and to many others, they matter significantly more. Now I've always thought Bungie has been terrible with public responses. What about you guys? Are you upset with how Bungie is treating and lying to players? Or do you think people are just overreacting? Let me know in the comments below and if you haven't already make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on the next Shepard Gaming video. Keyless Alive.